So regarding the Cannondale Super 6 Evo repair, I've, uh, I've had a lot of inquiries from all over the world about where can I get this part? Uh, can you send me one in the post? Um, I really want to get this done. There's a local guy I know who can do the work, blah, blah, blah. Um, so what I thought I'd do is instead of making, um, you know, making a whole bunch of parts here and sending them all over the world, um, that I'd make the STL file available for, uh, for download on one of those websites that um, you can get all 3D shapes and all that sort of stuff. Um, so, so I've uploaded the STL file of the, of the part onto CG Trader and I'll provide the link uh, for that. Uh, so then you can, uh, you can go and download the part, get it printed locally um, and get your bike repaired. Um, so, you know, that just makes more sense than obviously it, it makes no sense sending bikes around the, you know, the world to get repaired, like to get to my workshop to get repaired. Um, and I'm not really in the, in the mail order business so much. So I don't really want to be getting a whole bunch of parts made and, and sending them around the world um, and organizing all that. So I thought, I'll make this part available online. You can download it. Um, then there is a small fee for the download just to cover, um, to cover my time and IP, et cetera, like that. Like I was, spent quite a bit of time working out this, this solution and then um, prototyping it and, and testing it and all that sort of stuff. So there is a small fee. Um, yeah, don't, don't think, uh, <laughs> uh, I don't think people are going to go and get rich if they, um, if, yeah, if they go off and download the STL and then, yeah, get a batch of a thousand printed and sell them on the on the, on the black market or anything like that. Um, yeah, but I'd appreciate yeah, if it's just um, you know one download per uh, per use. If you want to do, if you want to print, um, you know, if there, if there's a, a repair shop um, somewhere and they they want to print multiples. Just, just contact me, and yeah, yeah, we can work something out like that. So, uh, but I just really want to get these bikes uh, usable, and um, and I thought this is probably the simplest way to do that. So, now the other thing to note is, unless you're really familiar with bonding metal into composite, um, it's not really just a, a do-it-yourself sort of solution because. You have to remember your headset bearing is usually covered in grease, so you need really good surface preparation to remove all contamination, um, prepare the area for bonding, etc. And uh, also for the titanium, I mean the, the the 3D printed titanium finish um, is usually pretty good for bonding. It does it is preferred to etch it as well, um, so you can do that. Now on the on the file um, in the information, I have listed. A number of adhesives which um, which are recommended um, so then yeah you can you can use that as well so yeah I thought I'd open it up to people and people can get their bikes repaired keep them out of landfill keep them safe and uh, and, and get on with things so um, I do understand I haven't seen it for myself though that Cannondale have implemented a similar sort of fix on their current ones. Um, as I said, I, I've yet to see that myself. Um, so yeah, this is really just for the specific model years with, with this problem. So anyway, we'll leave it at that. If, you, if you're after it, after the part, download the file and uh, yeah, if you've got any questions or concerns, let me know. Uh, and we'll see what we can do to help, to help you out. All right, we'll see you next time. Bye.